Okay, I'm going to take the mask off for the ceremony here. Um, I think we are, uh, we're already live, I've been told. So uh, I'll just start out by saying um, good afternoon. And uh, on behalf of the Board of Directors of Pacific Battleship Center, the current crew of the Battleship Iowa Museum, and of course, <laughs> the entire Canfield family, <clears throat> I'd like to thank you for uh, taking the time out of your busy afternoon to witness the swearing in of Michael, Jonathan, and Rebecca Canfield as they begin their Navy adventure. United States Code Title 10, Section 502 prescribes the oath of enlistment for the armed forces of the United States. This oath, which will be administered shortly by my father, Chief Warrant Officer for Al Canfield, United States Navy retired, is the same oath he administered to me in 1987 when I began my Navy journey. It is substantively similar to the oath taken by officers, by members of Congress, and by even the President of the United States. This oath is unique among the nations of the world. The United States of America is the only nation on the face of the earth where when serving one does not swear allegiance to a person, to an individual, but rather to a document, to the Constitution of the United States. That document both defines and embodies all that America is. It does not matter who is in the White House. It does not matter who is under the dome of the Capitol building in Congress. What matters is service to an ideal. Michael, Jonathan, and Rebecca Canfield have chosen to serve that ideal by joining the United States Navy. <clears throat> As a citizen, I am humbled and honored by their sacrifice of service and dedication. As a chief petty officer, I am encouraged to see this generation step up and step in. And as a father, I could not be more proud. The same law that defines the oath also stipulates it must be administered by a commissioned officer. As I am not a commissioned officer, I cannot administer the oath to my children. However, my father, who is the only officer I ever raised my hand in front of in almost 22 years of service, can. And it gives me great personal pleasure to turn this microphone over to my dad, who will now swear in his grandchildren. Mike. Repeat after me. I, Michael Arthur Canfield. I, Michael Arthur Canfield. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And against all enemies foreign and domestic. Against all enemies foreign and domestic. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And will be, bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I will, and that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations. According, and the, sorry. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. I, Jonathan Eric Canfield. I, Jonathan Eric Canfield. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. That I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations, and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you.
I, Rebecca Jean Canfield. I, Rebecca Jean Canfield. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. According to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you all for joining us this afternoon as this family continues uh, more than four generations of naval service. And uh, this concludes our ceremony. Thank you very much.